I think we should just literally just do who you just are. Just talking. Yeah, who, are, yeah. who you are, who I am. I mean, I think... Oh, okay. So, my name is obviously Sylvester. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Like, this is weird. <laughs> I know, it's weird. Okay. I am recording now, so I guess we might as well do this. I'm Perry. The the Hungarian guy that you can hear in the background is Sylvester. It's Sylvester. He's been in a few videos, two videos now. Uh, if you're wondering what the fuck you are listening to, it's... Uh, I guess like a podcast, kind of. Yeah. It's it's kind of like a podcast. It's more of us just expressing our opinions about things and just having a good laugh. I'm sure that's going to be thoroughly interesting to four people. Um, yeah, let's let's just put it this way. <laughs> None of us have filters, so it's going to be pretty explicit. So um, um, it's going to be yeah. weekly, maybe. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully weekly. I mean, we'll see because we both work in well. We, we both work like idiots. We do a lot of shitloads of overtime. Like today I finished at like, what, six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty good. So we were trying to make this obviously a weekly thing. And between we were try posting videos. Obviously I have not posted any videos yet. Um, I only just got a decent microphone. That's why it sounded like shit before. So, but yeah, we, we will try to make it as more of a interesting weekly thing. Yeah. yeah more interesting, more weekly thing. And then hopefully we say it, it, segues nicely onto we're, we're gonna the topic i don't know what like we, we don't really have any direction to so like feel free to like you know yeah. say anything that you want us to talk about because i mean we we be like, really open aren't we like, yeah well we're gonna need ideas well we're gonna try and we're gonna have i have cliff notes here uh, i think at the beginning we're gonna try and cover we'll try and cover sort of like one overarching theme i guess per yeah, episode. but we might drift off a little bit, like, yeah. obviously, it's, it's, that's a good thing about us, like, we kind of, like, drift off to things, like, we start talking about, like, I don't know. Just random shit. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> <Pretty> just <much. laughs> recently random shit, like, I don't know how to explain it, that's the thing, I don't know. We'll try and keep it on track, well, I'll try, I'll try and keep it on track, because we, we both have <clears> to go off in our own directions. Um, yeah, go off topic all the time, yeah. But yeah, so it's... I mean, we, we literally talked for, like, an hour just before this that's where i pull all the funny clip from <laughs> yeah just our conversations when we're talking so yeah today's theme is um spooky stories yeah i thought that'd be an all right one day. it's nowhere near halloween <laughs> not really hello we are far away from halloween um, it's pretty much summertime at the moment but i thought it'd be something interesting just to kind of go with to begin with yeah because i've got I, mean, I think i've got some i'm a de like a devout atheist absolutely a rational human being but i've got a few weird things where i'm like eh, there's not really an explanation for that <laughs> yeah i kind of get what you mean sometimes they're like i don't know it's not mm, do you want me, i don't know how to do this do you want me to start with this because i've got yeah i've got one from when i moved into this house and i've always put it down to uh stress but i don't i've never <sighs> I'm not really like a stressed person and it doesn't affect me as much as other people. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, so I don't know what, the, I'll just get into it. Cause I don't know. Um, yeah. Just start telling the story. So I don't know. Yeah. I moved into the house I'm in now. We moved from, uh, I, I probably won't say where, cause I'm still scared about uh, posting personal information. We moved from one town close by <laughs> <laughs> to this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, eventually, I think one of us can drop a detail. And yeah, people yeah. People gonna flag uh, us easily. Like I've said to Sylvester, I'm gonna we're gonna try and keep these uh, podcasts as natural as possible. If you hear me uh, bleeping shit out, just fill it in in your head. It'll make sense in the context, but I just don't want to give out too much personal information. Yeah, I'm sure you'll it's, understand. It's more than likely it's gonna be me saying some dumb shit or um, saying stuff that shouldn't be said. It's alright. I can more than like <laughs> locations and things like yeah, that. So I can. I'll... If you wanna know know our ALS, please don't ask for it. <laughs> oh, I'll just beep it and post. Um, or ASL? Uh, I can't remember. A ASL? No. Eight sex location or eight location sex? Eight six. I think it's ASL. I don't know. DTF. I down to fuck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right. Always. Okay. So I just we moved into this house in 2014. At the <clears> end of 2014. Um. And, God, I think I'd been in college. I think we'd been in college for, like, three months or so at this point. Mm -hmm. So it must have been, like, around January, maybe, of 2015. Um, I was the only one here. I think my, my brother was at college and my mum was at um, work. I was... I'll probably... I don't know if I'm... If I can be bothered, I'll throw a little diagram on screen. On screen. <laughs> um, 
you can see from my kitchen straight down to the uh, front door. There's like it's like a hallway, and you can see through the living room, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm I had my headphones in, and I'm doing the washing up. I was probably jamming out to like I don't know what the fuck I was listening to, like some Eminem, maybe the 1975. Yeah, who knows? Um, and I heard uh, probably Arctic Monkeys, if I imagine you. Maybe could have been that. Um, and I heard something i don't know what i heard but whatever i heard it made me take out um my headphones and i looked yeah. down the hallway to uh the front door because you can see straight to it because i i guess i i guess i presumed that i heard uh knocking um yeah or someone trying to get in yeah i wasn't i wasn't thinking about anybody trying to get in i just thought i heard knocking so i just presumed the front door yeah i'm too hungarian for that stuff if i hear a noise I'm yeah you're my... like yeah, god did somebody come to steal my fucking chickens yeah, they're stealing my chickens or like my pigs or some shit like that. I'm <laughs> here to beat you up. Come on, have come on. Um, my Addy we does die for our chickens. <laughs> yes, with my what do you call it? The the white west, the wife beaters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's that and my like Russian squatting. I'm just like squatting around the corner with a baseball bat in my hand. Oh, like, you are you are the true slav. So I was looking down at the front door, yeah. right? And uh, I I think I don't remember <laughs> the tiny details, but essentially. As I was going to put my headphones back in, I heard... This is where I'm going to get, like, the, the creepy shivers, because I'm alone in my house at the moment. I heard somebody... Or, I don't know what the fuck I heard. I... Something... It sounded like a person had gone from a dead stop to a flat-out sprint across... We have a tiny, <laughs> tiny little landing area. It sounded like somebody had just gone... Come out of nowhere and just did a sprint. A loud yeah. sprint. I do... We, I, we had two cats at that time. These cats do not weigh 240 pounds, okay? It just sounded like somebody <laughs> gone, like I said, just to a complete sprint across the landing, through my room, and into the back room. Yeah. Again, I'll, I'll throw on like a little diagram on screen uh, if I can be bothered. Yeah, I, I reckon it was more likely your cats. No, 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 okay. I'm telling, I'm just telling you, okay, it wasn't the fucking cats, because as I, I'll get onto in a minute. So, first of yeah, all, just this is the only time in my life that I can remember where I almost screamed maybe not out of fear but out of just like a pure rush of emotions right like i'm dead like yeah. i can feel it i can like even talking about this now i still get like a very visceral yeah just someone feeling. behind you yeah like, like just stroking your head and it's like it's okay okay that's okay. dead creepy i've got the lights on in my room for this <laughs> for this episode <laughs> um but yeah so i heard whatever the fuck that was and i just i was just dead still in my kitchen for maybe 15 minutes. I was doing the washing up at the time. So I gra I immediately grabbed the knife from the washing board. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. Uh... Um, I just stood dead still in my kitchen, just listening. Just dead still, dead quiet, just listening. Um, eventually, I felt comfortable enough to move up into the front room where I just sat on the edge of the sofa. <laughs> for like that for like 45 minutes just sat there listening yeah it's 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 like when your friends invite you to their house the first time you don't, <laughs> yes you're not comfortable enough to like proper sit down uh, just like on the edge like i'm okay so i um man i'm i i did this isn't hyperbole i must have sat there for a good 45 minutes just listening and i get eventually got to the point where i had rationalized it to where i just thought <sighs> obviously i heard something but there's, yeah. there's, there, there isn't possibly there isn't possibly somebody in the house. There, yeah, there could not be somebody in the house. So I did what all white people do, and I fucking went up my steep, creaky staircases with a <laughs> with a knife in my hand, ready to fight the demons. And obviously, oh, there was the fucking absolutely nothing. Um, and the weird thing is, because I heard somebody run across my bedroom, I had a big double bed in the middle of the room. So. Yeah how it like the footsteps went underneath the bed uh, okay that's just yeah it had, it had to be the cat i mean come on there wasn't a don't, don't just dismiss my story as a cat there was it wasn't a cat it's a cat i don't uh, it wasn't the cat maybe it was a raccoon you never know you know raccoons in england you fucking retard oh yeah true sorry <laughs> but yeah it was just like it, it's the thing. It was. I'm telling you, it wasn't a cat. It's. I know how loud my cats are when they're jumping about, and how far, how loud they're not when they're running. It wasn't the cat. Yeah, but I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. I've always. I like. I say. I put it down to stress because there I has a lot of shit going on at that time. But I don't. I've never. 
that's the thing. It's like sometimes I would listen to music and like I would hear like the tiniest noise in there. Like it could be a backdrop or something like that. And I would think it's someone saying my name or someone saying something. So we take it out and there's no one around. Oh, do you know, recently, <laughs> I'm going to sound insane. I thought I've been hearing voices. Yeah. I mean, I had that mostly when I listened to music. I think for me, it's because my mum hasn't been home a lot lately. So I think it's kind of just like the silence where. Oh, you're not used to it. Yeah. So I, I, I'm like, because I don't, because usually I'll go into the group chat and be like, I heard something or something and it, but I don't want people to think I'm insane. Right. Yeah. I don't want my friends to be like, wow, Perry's got a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> so It's like, they just call like the uh, ambulance on you. Like, I think our <laughs> friend is going a bit, you only know. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know, but do you have anything weird like that, or I don't know? Yeah, I'll just say it's your fucking cat, dickhead. Yeah, I mean there was one time. So um, my my dad used to take me only for like a weekend every month. Yeah. And I would stay at his apartment, and there was this thing I can't remember. It was like fireworks back in Hungary. Um, I think it's it's some. It was a New Year, but it was somewhat similar. So um, what's the Hungarian I was really New ta- Year? Yeah, it's some no no. We call it Sylvester anyway. Don't it's not New Year. It's Sylvester's Day. Shut up. <laughs> no, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There's no way. Dude, it's like almost every European country, they call it Sylvester's Day. You search my name, Sylvester, how I spell it. It comes with fireworks and champagne. Are you serious? Yes. Am I wasting my fucking internet data on this? No. So it's it's one second. Let me sh- let me send you a link and, I, and then you can just put it in there. Sylvester's but, uh, Day. Yeah. Saint Sylvester's like, Day. Oh, you're not even lying. Yeah, of course I'm not lying. That's why every time I say Sylvester, <laughs> any foreigner. Well, it's not. Um, it's not spelled the same as. Oh, it's spelled the same. Fuck. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so um, the spookiest one I've had is. So, in Hungary, we have this, um... Sylvester's Day. No, no, not that. It's a different <laughs> story. Yeah. But yeah, we do have Sylvester's Day. That's when I celebrate myself. I can't believe this um, is real. I can't believe that's real. Dude, every time, like, all my friends who are Polish, they send me a fucking message on, like, Facebook and such, saying, like, you know, Happy Sylvester's Day. It's, um, it's, it's my name day, essentially, is what I like to call it. Um, <clears throat> I'm just mad. I'm just mad as no Perry's Day. Uh, I mean, if you can find the Hungarian name equivalent, I can tell you what it is. Because <laughs> the thing is, we have a name day for every Hungarian. Really? There's only yeah. 365 days, though. So. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not for one every day. There is some multiple ones. But, like, we only have, like, distinct Hungarian names that are, like, you know. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. We only have a limited amount of names. It's not like in, like, here, like, you can name your fucking child screwdriver or something like that. What, you have to, like, pick from, like, a, a list? It's like North Not... Korea, where you already get 12 haircuts. <laughs> yeah, you can only have 12 boy names and 12, like, girl names. <laughs> Just imagine everyone's being called Greg or something. Now that I would be so depressing. fucking Sylvester. <laughs> I mean, I, my name is fairly rare. I only met, like, four people that, were, like, like shared the same name as me. That's pretty uncommon, especially because you're, like, 20, like, you've been alive for over two decades. Yeah, but think about it. There's only 20... What is it? 20? No. There's got to be like... No, 11 million Hungarian people altogether. Oh, that's not a lot. No, there is more people in London than in Hungary. Damn, son. I thought you got... I thought it was quite a big country. It's a it's a fairly large country, but the thing is, it's most of it is like not really lived in because it's the countryside and people the city and towns more often now. Okay. Yeah, it's it's... I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, off topic. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> once again, off topic. It, I'm telling you guys way too much about my 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 country. Well, no, I wouldn't consider it my country anymore because I lived here for like six, seven years now. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Um. So back in Hungary, we have this um, shopping center. It's kind of like. Uh, Just one. No, no, no. In the whole like, of in, Hungary. In Budapest. Okay. In Budapest, obviously we have this fight quite a few, but the, the one I lived close to yeah. um, had like a cemetery almost right next to it. Oh, yeah. And right next to that, like behind it, essentially was this old 
I wouldn't call it a military base. It was like a Russian base. A <laughs> Russian base. Like, it's just as creepy. It had to be something like that because it had like... Like some like, old Cold War shit. Yeah, it was just wars and graffiti. Was, was Hungary like part of the Soviet... No. Yes. Was it? Was it? Yes. Okay. We were invaded both um, by the Nazis as well. Man, you guys and are then... real fucking cucks, aren't you? Yeah. We are fucked. And then, what was it? Um... Shit, people are gonna hate on me for not remembering these fucking dates. And shit. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it was. Uh, uh, fuck it, I can't remember it. But basically, when we got rid of the um, Russians, we like have like this day when we celebrate it. I think it's in October. Okay. Uh, people are gonna hate on me for not remembering this shit. I never paid attention to history. I'm sorry. I'd rather make history than think about it. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> wise, wise words from Saint Sylvester. Saint Sylvester is here. But anywho, so uh, we had this military base there, and um, my friends and I from like school, we would go there to play. Like, the, we bought these like really shitty airsoft guns, and we would play there. Yeah, in the old and, military. Um, was it like a? Was it completely abandoned? It was completely abandoned. It was literally just wars, nothing else. Okay. It was just rust, like rumble, and um, so we were like playing along, and like, I think we did find a skeleton once. A skeleton? Uh, we what is this, like, like rust? A big piece of bone. We wasn't sure if it was from an animal or could have been human. No, maybe? it's definitely an animal. Maybe. It had to we'll be We'll go with anyway. human for the podcast. Yes. We found a dead human body that's been buried there, and it's actually one of the Hungarians to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, anywho, so um, we are playing there, and, like, it got dark. So what we've done is we collected some woods. We climbed up on top of it top of the building and um we made up a little campfire right and we were just talking alongside and like i had a really bad feeling about it i always do when we are like dark and wood like behind it there was like woods it's like oh, i shit. think it's just like an instinct really isn't it yes i was shit scared you know um all my friends are like just casually talking alongside i'm like proper like looking around making sure like up like just looking at my surroundings and I think, I'm not sure if I saw it, but I think I saw, like, the thing is, a lot of homeless people that, like, ran there. So I thought, like... <laughs> that was a bad place I, to go as a kid. Yes, it was, but it was fun to play there, because no one would give us, you know, give a shit about yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. And I think I saw something fly towards us, oh. and, like, pass us, and we, like, I've heard, and, like, I think one of my other friends heard this, like, noise, like, hitting the ground. I thought it was, like, a half a brick or something. Oh, like, half a brick not I like not like so. a whole do you, your brain instead of going through you, so little sylvester eight-year-old sylvester was like that wasn't a whole brick that was half a brick i mean come on you can tell a noise that <laughs> half a brick and a whole brick anywho <laughs> we, we literally shit our pants quickly packed everything and we started running <laughs> at the sound of half a brick and i like tripped and I shit, I'm, I kid you not, I shit my <laughs> pants and, and I was running, I was running as fast as I could and like we got to this area when we were like far it up and there was like a lamp there. I was like, oh shit. And I just like, we looked at all of us, at each other and it's like, did anything like even happen? No, we just like got scared. That's the thing, it's like a, it's like mass hysteria almost, isn't it? Where one of you freaks out and everybody else just goes with it and everybody's freaking out and now you're all running deeper into the woods yeah it's it's i don't know what you call it it's um uh the sheep mentality yeah yeah that yeah 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 that kind of thing yeah i don't think i don't think i ever like crept around in the at night in the woods because like in where i lived it's where we do have essentially you go west or east and you can essentially follow like the train lines and there's towns all along the train lines but travel north or south north you know whatever it's all just fields there's not any yeah. like forests or woods around us so we only used to just sort of like we used to sneak into people's fields and like camp overnight and we never yeah we never really had anything <clears throat> see that sucks now now i'm like shit that we never anything is... creepy happened Oh, wait, let me tell you the creepy tu tunnel that we found. That's <laughs> the creepy tunnel. This is the first story you should have said. It's fucking... Okay. So, we... Okay, um, we moved to this big apartment house, which had, like... It's, like, the old Russian style, and it's just, like, big 
block of building with a bunch of rooms yeah, and like a bunch yeah, of apartments. Yeah. The big like brutalist and, like, architecture. We get we have those in England. Yeah. And it's like really crappy looking ones. Anyway, so we moved in there and I love, uh, I love how I'll say we have those in England as if you're over in Hungary. <laughs> yeah. It's it's <laughs> you guys kind of copied the Russians. Yeah, I don't know, but, man. They it's the seventies, man. <laughs> oh, one second. Yeah. So um yeah, I made a few friends there and um we started like walking around and we found there was this like I wouldn't call it a river, but it was something like a river. I think it must have been like a drain. A storm drain. Okay, I think is yeah. what I reckon it was, thinking back now. And was it like, it was a big enough tunnel to like get inside, I guess. Dude, that tunnel was massive. Like how old you, you could have walked through it. Um 14 15 okay so it wasn't it wasn't when did you move so that was like a year or two before you moved here sorry that was like a year or two before you moved over here two years yeah two years okay two three years yeah because i was around 13 because that's when i had like my first girlfriend was there with and like back then i used to be a massive pyromaniac um, <laughs> as all kids <laughs> what no, love dude, burning you shit. No idea. i went through lighters and like matches like there was you know, like I had an unlimited supplies of it. Yeah. And um, <laughs> anywho, so we went there. We saw the storm drain. We started like looking into it. We saw a lot of graffitis and people. I think it's the homeless people went there to shit. Oh. It was really gross. And we started like going like slightly deeper and deeper. And all I had is like some lighters and matches. And like we got like there is this like corner bit to it. And it was like way too dark to see. And I dropped my fucking lighter. No. And I I I didn't I I thought I'm gonna die there. I was so <laughs> yeah. scared. Did you just accept it in that moment? Yeah, I kind of did. Like uh, I was like looking through my pockets for anything that could, you know could, could generate any some form of light, because I didn't even have a clue where it was forward and backward. It was yeah, that yeah. dark. It's and there's it's a it's called cave darkness where it's you think like being just outside at night is dark. It's like a true true blindness. It was yeah. And the thing is, I could like obviously like there was a three of us and like we didn't panic for, at first, but then I just like we heard some like noises in the water like steps. Oh fucking hell! And and like I just literally grabbed the wall and I was like looking for anyone else. <laughs> And like I think they just ran. Dude, I can feel I could like feel the panic in my heart right now. The thing is, I think what I've heard was them running out. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and the fact that I I just heard running. Yeah. And then I've heard steps in the water, it was them. Oh. So I was my first instinct was to look for them and I got shit scared because I couldn't find anyone. Yeah, yeah. And no one I would be like, hello, hello. And the thing is, I obviously went the opposite way of where like the steps were coming from so i literally went the other way around i went deep oh okay and i was like i took like about 15 steps and i thought no this can't be right because i could feel the air coming okay, through yeah, my yeah, way yeah, yeah so like i was like oh shit shit okay opposite direction so i turned around i literally started ducking like i didn't want anything to like grab me oh <sighs> And I was like going out and I saw the little bit of light and I was just like, okay, just the literal light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I need to play this cool. Otherwise I'm going to like a little girl. So I like act cool. And like, I was like, okay, don't step into any homeless shit. Okay. okay <laughs> get out of the tunnel. And like, they were like proper scared. Like, where did you go? What happened? And I was just like, oh, I just dropped my lighter. Where did you guys go? Oh, we just ran out. We got scared. I was like, yeah, I didn't. Do you know what this reminds me, me of? But what? I saw... God, this is a very interesting topic, actually. And this is something that's always... Mm. This is a very weird thing. Where... um, I think... I believe this was in either Paris, in the catacombs below Paris, or it was in uh, the Czech Republic. Or what's it called now? Czechoslovakia? I don't know. Yeah, Czech. Czechoslovakia. Yeah. No. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. It was in the Czech... Where, Czech, whatever. You know, where the fuck yeah. you want to call it. Um... I was in some, so I, I think it was in Paris. I want to go with Paris. It, b below Paris, there's uh, catacombs, catacombs, right? There used to be old mines, I believe. And then Paris obviously has a huge population and they they just converted them into 
you know, an ossuary, basically. They just filled yeah. it with all the dead because, well, you know, that's what they did. Um, I mean, yeah, easy way to get rid of bodies. It's an easy way to get, store bones. Right? I mean, not like I wouldn't know. Like, I mean, like <laughs> some, um, uh, some lass got... Uh, I I forget how the story goes. I want to... I'll uh, throw a Wikipedia article up or whatever. Um, she got <laughs> drunk after a party. I believe this is what happened. And... She, for whatever fucking stupid, unsober reason, decided to go into these catacombs. And oh, no. Have you heard about this? No, but okay, like, I will... the, like, that starts yeah, off as a bad. Yeah, yeah, well, it ends fucking horribly. Um, she got lost in these catacombs, yeah, well, right? Well, obviously. Kilometers underground in the pitch fucking black. Um, and, God, the, there's... There's not any graphic images, but they found her years after. Um, she oh, she died down there. She just fucking slumped over in the middle of the hallway, just dead. Jeez, probably starved to death. Who fucking knows? They don't. She was dead for so long. They don't know what happened to her. But there is. Oh. They have. Um, I don't know if this is. The, I think it's the same person. They have the her phone cell footage of her just running from she just i get presumably she just went into a panic and just started running in the dark um and she drops her phone and just carries on yeah. running but the the image is so fucking creepy there's two guys stood over her the guys who found her and the guy taking the photo and she isn't like huddled against the wall she isn't like cowering in a corner she's just slumped over in the middle of the fucking tunnel it's really it's really it's just it's think... creepy it's not creepy thinking about her being dead it's creepy thinking about it, the way in which she died just like yes in that's the thing. i think i know darkness. which one you i think i know which one you mean i think the odessa cat catacombs which is in ukraine that might that sounds a lot that sounds like it it's it's, it's... and it's it runs up to two and a half thousand kilometers it's really it's it's one of those things where it's very unnerving to think about how, like, imagine, like, how, I can't even begin to comprehend how you would feel in that situation. Yeah. I found the story you meant. Okay. Um, so, obvious accidental deaths. Obviously, there have been people going in there, getting lost, and eventually dying of dehydration. Yeah. Um, but most, most famously, in 2009, a Ukrainian Karakum explorer, da -da -da, Eugene... Da -da -da, other explorers have found the body of a local student named Marsha on the New Year's Eve in 2005 had wandered into the catacombs with her friends after Christ. drinking. She was done there for four years. Four years. For four years. Um, because there's kilometers, like you said, 2,000 plus Two kilometers. and a half fucking. thousand. Thousand, Perry. That's fucking big. Trust me. And anyway, so, um, ta -ta -ta, um, with a group of friends uh, had stayed there overnight, then left the next morning, but they ab abandoned her, so they just left her, um, either accidentally or um, on purpose. They so they, they stayed in the catacombs? Yeah. Overnight, okay. And everyone else left, they just left her there, and um, she what was the... unable to fi find her way out. Oh. Da -da -da. Yeah, they found a decaying corpse. That's it's so fucked. It's so fucked. Jeez. The thing is, wow. They found no evidence that Marsha had existed. What? Wait, what? <laughs> this is the this is the real this is the real mystery here. <laughs> Jesus, this is creepy. Like, see, this is why I wouldn't go into catacombs. And case because um the whole I, thing I just screams bad idea it's got bad idea written all over it it's i wish I, I don't know i would panic too quickly it's have you seen that movie what's that movie when they go into a cave the descent and they find this... yes oh with the, no, with, the with the weird fucking like pale gremlin people yeah that really, that's why i find the falmer from skyrim so creepy because they remind me of those fucking things oh uh, it's i couldn't uh, no I, I wouldn't stand that no, this that's the kind of situation where I kill myself, where I ba I bash myself to death with a rock. I would cry. I would just there be like crying and like 
probably die of dehydration because I would cry so much. I think the worst part about, for me, I think the if... thing is, this kind of like podcast is making us sound like pussies right now. <laughs> I think if you threw, like, if I went into that situation, like, what was her name, Marsha? Marsha. If yeah. I was in, like, think about it. It's like we said before with the cave darkness, where it is. You couldn't. You can't you... see your fingers in front of your face. You couldn't. Uh, like, imagine the, the is... constant. Because the whole fear about, like, being scared of the dark isn't you're not scared of the dark, you're scared of the unknown, right? Yes. That's a. It's not the You're dark surrounded by the unknown, and you can't. You don't know where you're going or your way out. I feel like I would just. Like, I feel like. I hope to fucking God in that situation, my body just shuts down, right? I hope I just go into fucking cardiac arrest and die. Imagine. <laughs> it takes about a week. To de- for you to, to dehydrate. Like, yes, and even then, you Christ. could survive up to weeks, maybe maybe two weeks, I, I think, without, like, anything. And, like, oh, God. What? Just imagine, like, the worst part is, like, getting weaker and weaker, and, like, you just eventually give up, lay down, and you try to die, but it still takes days to, for you to die properly. And, like, I think, like, she would have had to like sleep and stuff as well and um, pee and yeah man that is Dude, it's getting this is going dark oh god it's fucked it's oh, that sound that's hardcore fucked <laughs> oh god i mean i don't know like this is this is something that terrifies me like that would be something i wouldn't want to that's no way for anyone to die your body should have an off switch <laughs> right you you should have you should, there should be like you should be able to say like a combination of words or think something to where <laughs> it's like you know you don't think it ever don't think it but if you do think it your your body just your internal organs turn to goo or something right like just something that's, happens and you die that's a really bad idea just imagine like so you have to no, say don't think about it don't think about it you might die <laughs> yes it's like imagine it's a sentence like i don't know like um uh, it's like you don't 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 say it i don't even know don't like, say it a little mid- <laughs> like a little midget I don't, I don't know i don't know why midget comes to mind that's not something that would come up like a little midget deoxygenated or some shit like that and it would actually come up in like a conversation and you just by, fucking, like, yeah you hear it and then you die you're like oh shit you said that that must yes. have been his off switch <laughs> yeah just imagine if someone is just like you're listening to a youtube video and you just die on the bus <laughs> People, that would freak people out. Just imagine, like, you're on a bus and someone just dies right next to you. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, oh, that guy heard his combination. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of that movie with Justin Timberlake. The one when they have, like, timers on their, like, wrist. Just, I thought he, and, just, I thought he just sang. No, he, he actually acted in a few movies. There are some really good ones. Um... I think it's something with time. I can't remember what it was called, but it's like time is a currency. I think I no, I think I remember that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I ever saw it. I saw the adverts for it. I don't know. Every time someone is called Justin, and you always think of just in time. <laughs> just in time. Like if my name was Justin, <laughs> and I would turn up late, and people would be like, "Justin, you're late." No, no, uh, I mean just in time. Dude, dude, you'd come up with some shit puns. I oh, know I do, but I love them. All right, we are running into. The forty minutes now, so yeah, I think I think we could talk quite excessively about things, and I think we should leave the rest for the next episode. Yeah, that that's that that'd be a good thing to carry on with the next episode, actually. I will look up some more spooky stories, and I think I sent you spooky pictures as well. Spooky picture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, uh, these are quite funny, I think. Uh, I just looked up like spooky pictures and like I think I sent you this one. Uh, when it's um when she sends you when she sends you news, memes. but you wanted spooky memes. <laughs> uh, that's good, I like that. Okay. That's gonna be like the ending picture. I just oh, while I'm that's... recording, I just cut to it. <laughs> it's alright. Yes. Oh, that's too funny. Okay. Anyways, so, so this has been a good conversation i think yeah well i think it'd be good we should carry on with the spooky we should look up some weird conversation some weird like some shit like that weird that catacombs thing yeah i discuss that, that next was, time geez that like really put me into like question my existence in this world it was a good conversation though that's what we yes want. it has been i mean that's what we are here for anyways yeah so i guess that's that's the kind of the end of 
episode end one. of this video yes so um are we gonna do like the typical like i don't know you like this video, how do we no no live, that's the thing don't say it i've never once said that on my channel i i swear i vow to the if there is a god out there i'm telling you now i'm looking up on my ceiling and i'm pressing my hands together you can't see this i will never <laughs> i will never ever ask somebody to like or subscribe to my fucking channel because it's never worked on me yeah yeah but i mean that's like i don't know it's never worked on me and i think i think that if somebody is going to subscribe to my channel they're just going to do it somebody wants to like a video they're just going to do it i don't think me prompting them to do i know here's the thing when when, when i was like <laughs> first getting into youtube i'd always watch shit on like you know how to get yeah. people to like subscribe and you know to do like the search engine optimization all this shit and the whole like liking sub subscribing it's called a call to action yes but i just feel like of... i don't want to do it because i feel like i don't need i'm not like you're a human being you're gonna do it if you want to if you don't want to you won't do it it's fine me yeah i mean i get that if you don't want to do but it me is, saying I, I, say, I say that after sex as well <laughs> like and subscribe yeah if you like this subscribe to it you know <sighs> Please rate me on like TripAdvisor or something. <laughs> TripAdvisor. I don't know. They they can say like you know eight out of ten. I would write this again. <laughs> okay, that's all right. I guess we'll, <laughs> I guess we'll just see you guys in fucking episode two or whatever. Yeah, I mean we're gonna make another episode of this. We're gonna make a lot of episodes. You cut out that. And... What happened there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that. Well... We should have left with like a cliffhanger or something. Like what happened to Marsha? Find out in the next episode. <laughs> Find out in the next. Or just Google it. <laughs> or just Google it. It's not like she died. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll just sort of cover that. Some more of that yeah. kind of stuff. That's it. I like that. It's an interesting thing to go off. So yeah, I guess that's it. That's the end of the video. Say goodbye, Sylvester. Goodbye. That's Vidanya. <laughs> what was that? Or, uh, what does that mean? What was that? Hungarian? No, that's Russian. You fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Wait, that's Vidanya. Yeah, that's Vidanya. Yeah, that's Russian for what goodbye. You okay, I thought you like. I thought you were fucking swearing at my poor subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're Sukabliat. 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 Okay. I don't think even I say it right. <laughs> Alright, that's it. The the recording will now end. Doom done.